in the production shop and it's time for 3D printing. We're using the Tiger 3D XL Plus. Okay, it's a DLP projector 3D printer. We're using this burgundy resin. It's fully castable, has a clean burnout and should leave no residue of ash. Okay, the resin is poured into our tray in here. Above that we have our picker plate. Okay, this is where the model is actually built up on in a series of layers. Okay, and this is 125 millimeters by 70 millimeters by 125 millimeters in depth. We can fit about 50 of our engagement rings on here, and that should print in three, three and a half hours. Okay, so like I said, it builds up in a series of layers. This is going to move down into the resin. The projector will hit the uh, plate with the bit of resin there. It's going to cure that resin in certain areas, forming that single layer. And then move back up, come back down again, hit the next layer. In that, in that way it builds up in these layers or slices our 3D model. Okay, and we can vary the thickness of those slices. We can pick between 5 micrometers and 200 micrometers. We typically print around 50 micrometers. We've found that that's more than enough detail to get a very smooth finish and a good casting. In the X and Y direction, okay, we have a resolution of 65 micrometers. Very nice printer, good resolution, quick printing and great smooth finish. Okay, before we get to the actual printing, we have to prepare our model a little bit and we do that in a free piece of software that comes with the printer. We need to add some sprues or supports to the model to help it print in certain areas. So here we have loaded our model up into our 3D printing software. Here we can see the build plate area defined by this blue bounding box. Prior to adding our supports and base plate, I'm just going to raise this up off the um, surface, two and a half millimeters, give it a bit of clearance. Let's come into our support area. Okay, and I'll come into a bottom view. Now we're going to add one thick support at the base. Right there, that's our first support. And we could probably get away with printing it just like this, but I like to add a few more supports just to, just to make sure that the printer is happy. And we're going to mirror these, and just a few more. And that, that looks good. We'll come in with a base now. 0.3 millimeter thickness is good. And we can tweak this trying to save material as much as possible, even though this model will only really cost about, I'd say between 30 and 50 cents to print in resin. So really quite inexpensive. Okay, let's quickly look at how the printer is going to slice this and build it up. We have this nice slicing view and I can step through the slices bit by bit. Okay, you can see how this is building up. And we need these supports at the bottom to literally support the base of the model. But as we get higher and higher, you see that it is supporting itself. We do have to be mindful of any islands of material that crop up not attached to the main part. And if we see any islands, they will need to be supported themselves. This is a fairly simple model, so we uh, won't have any of that problem there. Okay, so that is the model. Very simple to screw this one up and we're ready to slice it now. Okay, so we're slicing it and it's creating an SLC file that is going to be readable by any number of printers, not just the Tiger. And we are now ready to print. I'm just going to load up the printer. It's connected via an ethernet cable to the network. In fact, you can connect it over Wi-Fi and launch to print. Okay, and this is the final window, checking to make sure we have everything set up perfect prior to printing. Okay, so we're going to hit print and we should see the progress on this window. Print 
is completed, we remove the picker plate from the 3D printer. We can then clean off the excess resin using an alcohol solution. We can use denatured alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. We may need to soak the model a bit longer in the alcohol solution after we scrape off the platform using the included scrape tool. After this, we need to cure the resin using a UV lamp, and this will just strengthen the resin. It only takes about 30 minutes, maybe longer for a heavier model. So we hope this brief video series has been useful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please just give us a call or email us and we'll be happy to help you.